Hey, welcome to the farm. Here on the case farm, we uh, we work whether it's raining or snowing or anything else. And this morning, I'm out here Friday morning. We're not sawing today. Uh, got other things to do, and sawing's kind of slow. Uh, all orders is kind of slow, but I got cattle waiting on me to bring them their feed up there in the pen. It's a little after eight, so I'm kind of slow about getting around, but uh, I get some feed dipped up here. So I'll set you here on the back of Mildred. If we can manage to get this about right. See if we can get my feed ready. young lady earlier this uh, week that told me she had a really dirty job for her second job. She was working at the dollar store when I talked to her. And she told me that uh, she had this terrible, really dirty job. And then I found out and she told me this, so I'm just going on job she was talking about was well, she's a certified welder. I'm like, well, that, that's, uh, I know sometimes those welders have to get down in the hole. To do what they do, so I can see how that could be a pretty dirty job. And, uh, She may have a really dirty. I'm, I'm guessing it was the first job. She went through all the trouble on the hotel to uh, get the certification. But here at the case farm, we do a lot of dirty jobs. And in this fat boy's opinion, one of them is feeding when the weather's bad. But we really don't get a lot of choices. The animals got to eat, so. And uh, I like to give a little update now and then. And I got to tell you about something that happened here. Dakota come back from the woods the other day. He said, I fell a tree on your chainsaw. So uh, this is the chainsaw that I fixed the handle on. The piece of metal that I put around the back in the handle is still working great. It's just that the handle's no longer on it. It busted the gas tank right there. So, uh, I don't know. I try to keep two or three of those little saws around the 290, and I went to the saw shop and found one. They didn't want too terribly much money for it, so I went ahead and bought me a 310 for less than half of what I gave for a 290 20 years ago so and it runs good I actually got it that way because uh, they put a brand new chain and brand new bar on it and uh, it was 20 inch and all of my smaller ones are 18 inch except for the last 290 I bought that had 16 on it and it'll get an 18 whenever we wear the chain out probably so uh, I like to keep them all on the same size chain. And some more looking at the old combine. I picked up some parts for it. Uh, we can't tell for sure what the deal is, but I can't get no fire to the spark plugs. We've changed the coil on it. Know the coil's good. Know the coil's getting uh, fire. I filed the points and put them back in there, and uh, and they're working. But I ain't getting no fire through the through the uh, plug wire so I'm going to uh, change the rotor and the cap it's a slant 225 cubic inch slant 6 Chrysler and I've uh, looked at enough to figure out that it's different than the parts that I bought so I've got to take the <laughs> I've take the distributor cap off which makes it complicated because you have to figure out 
how to get all those wires back on there perfectly the way they were or this won't run and so i've got to take my cap in i might get that done today with it rain and i need to go get some oats but i don't want to haul them home in the rain in the bag and uh, got a load of load logs to unload and just having trouble with my little skid steer so i got to take and try changing fuel filters on it and it's raining just sprinkling enough to make it nasty anyway that's all for now hope y'all have a great day hey thanksgiving's coming up I just got to tell you, I'm thankful for Jesus Christ to save my soul. I'm thankful that I got a family and friends that care about me no matter what. And uh, and if you're one of them, I'm thankful for you. What are you all thankful for? Put it down in the comments. What are you thankful for this, this year? Uh, what means the most to you? Hope you're having a great day. We're on to the next dirty job here at Case Farm. Thanks for watching.